Hi, I am Joy, and there's always joy in cooking. By the way, I'd like to say hello to those who watch me. So now we will make another exciting Christmas recipe or holiday season recipe, and I call it stuffed chicken ham. So we will make first of all we have to cure our chicken. So the first thing that I will do is I will debone the chicken. Okay, so watch me as I do it. Okay, so first of all I have to remove this one, the skin. I the skin, no no the bone. Okay. It's not very easy. Now this is quite tedious, but you know. Because of this Christmas season, we have a lot of time. Damo atun time to prepare. So we will make this. Pero of course, on the side, I still have to grade the work of my students. So we will bakli bakli the bone. Aray, it is hard. Basta I will bakli bakli and then after I bakli it, look. there okay next is we by the way these are the things that i will need one paring knife and one sharp scissors and then next is we will remove the tip okay by tip and then we will again just like what we did with the fur with that you see it's so easy no okay so with this, this is what we will do. We will, we will bakli, bakli also the same thing. And we just twist and turn the bones until the bone is detached from the flesh. But the, the wing part is more delicate and more hard to remove. So I mean, I'm so ambitious. I thought the two ones would. Okay, okay, okay. Come here, baby. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> so we will remove. Wah. And then the other one. We'll bakli bakli still. Bakli bakli. Ay, naku. Okay. The reason why I removed the bones because the bones contain blood no? and then they easily get spoiled when we when we make this into ham so better to remove the bones okay next is could we know already how to remove the wings and the leg okay next is what will happen to the neck okay we will cut the neck <laughs> help me this is no, 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 we will not remove the neck. This is what we will do. We will cut. You need a sharp, you need a sharp scissors. We will remove the, oh, by the way, this one is about one kilo and a half. So I will, I will just come back to you. Because this is hard. Ah, okay. So I have removed the backbone. And then I will remove. I will continue removing the bones. Now you. Because the difficult part is to remove the, the leg. Of course, the more tedious thing is to remove the the bones from the flesh. Use this paring knife. Very easy. Yeah. With a little help of your sharp scissors. Yeah. So make sure that uh, as much as possible you leave the flesh. Yeah, because this is where we will put our curing salts later. Pero, we have to cure this for 3 days only. 
because there it's already boneless so um, the curing mixture could easily absorb and then absorb the, the flesh or the flesh easily absorbs the curing salts next is we will remove this one uh, okay there it is. Stop coming. Okay, so look here. These are the bones that I have removed tediously from the chicken flesh. And this is our chicken. So I tried very hard not to puncture the skin. Okay, so I will just wash my hands and I can because I touch this. Stop. I will prepare now our uh, curing mixture. Okay, I have here a small bowl. This is one third cup white sugar. This is four teaspoons Craig powder, salitre, curing salt, or preservative. This is three teaspoons salt. And then I have one teaspoon black pepper. I have one teaspoon whole cloves. I cloves. By the way, this it looks like this. They look they look like uh, pins. And I'm gonna share whole cloves. And then I have two bay leaves. Two bay leaves. No, I will crush. I will brush and then we'll we'll rub it over our our chicken fillet the bone chicken okay so you have to mix thoroughly and then just like when you make ham pork ham you just do the same for the chicken okay choo 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 and then notice here that uh, our chicken you know, has some cavities in it. So we will still put something here. Where the chicken or the legs you know, have bones and they are removed. So we will put And then the wings. And then I will turn it. Ay hala, there's it's all right. Okay, kaso hindi maganda perfect kita magdibon. Yan. And then we will cure this for three days only. Pwede man mo you can make cure this for five days, seven days, but for me. Um, I will cure this for uh, five days, uh, three days, uh, four days, oh no, three days. No. And then, as I, as I prepare to cure, as I cure it, I will also, once done, I will stuff it with uh, some pork, some sausages, some luncheon meat, some boiled eggs, not the usual chicken galantina. Yeah. Okay, muscles. Mm. Okay. So whenever you you cure this, naturally this will have uh, liquid. No, it, now it is so dry, there's no liquid, but as you cure it, it is natural that the liquids would come out. Okay, so I will have to put this in the in a bowl and then 
to keep it for three days in the ref and it is a must for you to keep it invert it every turn or invert it every day and you have to keep it in the refrigerator not in the freezer and so we will massage massage Ah, with uh, tagal, no? Okay. Okay, lang. Okay, so see you after this has been thoroughly cured. So it is pinkish already. So this is where I will keep our chicken ham for curing. So after three days, we will see each other. Now I have fully cured our ham, so I will set this aside because now I will prepare the filling. Now, so we need a big bowl, okay, and then, okay, and then we will now mix all the ingredients together with correct measurements. Stop. So we need one kilo of ground pork. This pork has 20% uh, fat. We need uh, one half cup carrots, grated. Thank you, Tintin. Thank you, Tirai. We need one half cup raisins we need crying ladies tintin and did i chop this one half cup of onions wow the price of onion will really make you cry just like sad movies and then we have also one half cup relish pickle relish and then one one cup and a half but well, actually one cup lang practically kay very generous this christmas so we will pay make it one and a half cups and then i will need two tablespoons of white or refined sugar that's on i will need two tablespoons evaporated milk then we need one teaspoon salt and then we need two tablespoons of pep i know this is not pepper this is tomato paste okay and then two tablespoons of oyster sauce Also, one teaspoon brown pepper and one half cup flour as binder. I would, no, there is no salt here, or maybe the salt is minimal because I already have our ano gani? Um, ham. Oh, you see that's salty. Next is we will add in our it log. I will use four raw eggs. One, two, three, four, and I will use one luncheon meat. I will mash it here. It will add to the flavor. This is uh, regular. Ano ba yung ano? Is this regular or less salt? I forgot. Kung ano lang na yun yung spam. Now I will mush this until everything is combined. Notice that I am wearing gloves. These are 
food grade plastic gloves. Okay, so I'll come back to you once this is done. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have here now to assemble my stuffed chicken. Okay. Then I will put eggs. Depende kung pila ka makaigo ng tatlo kaya dun guro or tatlo or duha. Ituwa lang kay tlo. And then we'll have some sausage on the side. Bonga. <laughs> and then I have a problem. It's a happy problem though. Paano ko ni braho ng sopra? Ang brata. Ang brata ng butido. Okay. Sobra kayo galing 1 kilo, dapat 1 half lang. Siguro the recipe that I have basi para sa turkey to. <laughs> Next is I will, I will put this in the net. Seems that our net is gone, so we have to look for it. And I can be in and put in the sokang net. Next is we will. Where's the net? Where's the net? Ah, okay. We need also twine, kitchen twine. I have kitchen twine on the lake. Sobra. <laughs> Balik lang ko kay sobra sobra ako ng tangabuhi. <laughs> oh. So, I have uh, stuffed the chicken with its filling. It seems that the filling is more than the chicken can accommodate. So, what I did was put parchment paper over it and then and then put it in my <laughs> here in my net bag chicken okay go this is the right okay I'll okay, go he will push and push and push and push and the Rai will push with all her might. Okay, where's the parchment paper? The parchment paper did not go with the... Sige lang, never mind. Push lang. Nang push ang beauty. Sige magkadlaw. Kaya kadlaw. Kaya kung hindi magwa. Magkadlaw ah. Okay, sige. Pit na lang, we're almost there. <laughs> okay. Ay, ang itlog na mukha! <laughs> Oo, paper na sulod. Ay, kasadya, ganyan. Masud, ari kita ka nung stang parchment paper. Hindi <laughs> na ito makita ang parchment paper. When we slice it later, ah, I can feel it. <laughs> you know, she is always, ano, she is always giggling. Okay. There. <coughs> Goodbye. And then the itlog is disintegrated. So it will be a very nice itlog here. And then I will put this one. Oh, did I? For you. Thank you. And then I will wash my hands and I sent it. Okay. Now, now, now. We need ano ba di is? Bay leaves. Bay leaves. Um, ah, of ano yung ano? Okay, so I will need to cook our chicken ham together with stuffings. Now, we will have one tablespoon of whole peppercorns. Whole kitja. And then two leaves of bay leaf. Two bay leaves. Two leaves of bay. 
Also, I know two leaves of bay, bay, bay of pigs. Okay. And then I will add the usual ham. Um, cooking liquid is uh, this one. Pineapple juice. Ay, tinan lang pa tayo sugar. Ano yung beautiful? One cup, one half cup sugar. And then, we will add mm, one bottle of beer. Just one bottle of beer. And then, one half cup sugar. And then, we will boil this until namit. No sugar. No <laughs> break any. We add now the sugar. This is one half cup of sugar. And then we will boil it. Pero the boiling will not be very long like the pork ham. About uh, 40 minutes of boiling. And then every once in a while we um, put the liquid, the cooking, uh, li cooking liquid on top of the scoop it. Okay, so I will come back to you. While our stuffed chicken is being cooked, what we will do with the excess filling is we will make it into imbutito. Okay, so here it is. I'll try to uh, measure it scientifically so they will cook at the same time. So at, I will have three sausages. And then I have here four eggs and then I have here the mini mini sausage which I use as filling in our chicken ham okay so I will try to measure I will try to measure this is one half cup using parchment paper rather than um, plain foil because um, it has been revealed that eating with foil is not safe I do not know but we grew up eating in butito cooked in foil and look at me Okay, so this is how it's done. And then we will roll it like this. There. Roll out the bar. Okay, it, actually it depends upon you on how large your embotido will be. But for me, I want it to be thick. And that's it. Roll. To halog, no? Sige lang. Okay, so I still have to make this one. So I'll come back to you. So I have made three logs of embutido. And I will steam this for one hour and then stay it uh, stay it cool overnight and then in the morning we will have wonderful breakfast we have now our chi stuffed chicken ham uh, so look at this so pretty isn't it but it is so heavy to hold to the end. Ah, there. So look here. Forward, forward. Done. Okay, I have also prepared some gravy. No, 
now from the sauce I just put uh, one half teaspoon of cornstarch and then I cook it until it becomes very thick. Pakaunta everyone! Thank you for watching!